Yeah, you join the dots there, lad. So, uh, hello. We're on the Anger extension. And the uh, reason in the delay of starting was because, well, first of all, there was a... Uh, the house is like a raft foundation, yeah? How thick was it? Eight inches. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Eight inches reinforced. Double, double layer of mesh. Yeah, a double layer of mesh. Double layer of mesh for the old existing uh, extension, the small one. But uh, that got broken out. And then the ground conditions aren't too good. So the building inspector said now that we need to have 900 wide footings with uh, mesh in them so basically that's how wide the footings are i've put the line for the outside wall it's a 350 wall construction 150 mil cavity It'll be close here so but the drain does come around the sides so um i can still build you know i've still got 150 from there to the wall which is okay uh yeah that's it nice monday morning job <laughs> yeah so that's us all sprayed out let's do a new pipe there's uh one yeah. another internal wall to take here so that's the footing off to the next job so there you have it one roller shutter door one glazed screen is in what a turn around get off your phone <laughs> busted lad yeah yeah it's just working What do you want? Radio? Yeah, I know, I've just seen him. Oh, happy days. Right. Right, what are we going to do now? Painting a door. So, we are at the waste disposal centre. It's quite professional here, to be honest with you. So, on the way bridge, getting rid of the gear. Right, so that cost me £100 all in, yeah? Skip these days for mixed waste is about 300 quid. So I had, I, I didn't really show you actually, the van, the back of the van was full. Full, all plast uh, off cuts of plasterboard, ply, two tonne bags full, plus all the sparky boxes and so on. Would it have been half a skip? Probably half a skip so um it didn't warrant a skip on site you see the amount so it, it's yeah it's fair really so it's wednesday lunchtime i forgot this camera here uh -huh. it's tuesday is it so we are doing some cavity trays on this conservatory so um yeah sean's just taking the bricks out cleaning the bricks up uh, he's happy there, he's doing a good job. Catch you later, lad. Yeah. yeah. Brick it up tomorrow. Hello. Right. Not much filming yesterday, although it was a good time to film. I just didn't get it out. So, Sean's been here now, yesterday, sorry, taking these bricks out here for the cavity trays. Uh, I've cut the cavity trays this morning with a still saw. So they're all 225. Um, doesn't warrant a, a cement mixer, so what I use is paddle mixer from my drill, the old Titan. She lives on. The Titan, doesn't matter how much abuse you give the Titan, it will carry on going. And when it does die, 
hit it with the hammer, it carries on going again. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a little bit of a mix here. I'll get going. I don't know if I, you could already notice, but I've got one of these new, a new whisk. This one's a big one. Now, uh, I'm having to wrestle, wrestle here, and I think everyone should see me having to wrestle. I'm going to put the camera now. I'll just put it in my mouth. No, I'll put it here. This is, and, and it's mixing good. I'll put it there. Bondonics. Done and dusted. So, uh, get all in now. Oh, God. Sweating. Shouldn't have shown really how, how I did them, but a magician never reveals his tricks. Bon appetit. Mmm. job starting it at what half two but Sean's been here already to uh, rake out rake out the mortar because all that bottom bit was mortar was crumbling so uh, we're repointing there and the bottom I thought you cleaned the bottom out Sean what? I thought you cleaned the bottom out so we had a dead bird in the cavity. Massive chunks of water and dead birds. Right, so uh, yesterday the thing this thing ran out ran out of battery. And I was trying to explain what we were doing. So um, we were obviously taking the bricks out yesterday and we left two of these in they're out now obviously so I put these in yesterday now I'll put you can see how I've done the cavity trays with lead there oh it's been nicked there um, it's been raked out there look so the new lead will go well I'm not saying the existing flashing will go in there and I'll bend this down over it um, and I'll put a new lead tray in there now to lap it with five beads and it'll have like that much lap on it five beads of lead meat so you can see here that the the old cavity tray 
was short and it was just straight on the block so when they've put their their cavity tray in uh, lead they they either grind it or whatever it is um it's probably sat on top of it so any water has just gone in the house i think they had it quite bad as well so the weather's nice evening what does that mean sean Oh, get the guns out. You got your ticket, Sean? Yeah. Ticket? The gun you show you? You're filming now, are you? Yeah. Are you getting all this? Yeah. You right, yeah? Okay, so we've got five beads here of a lead mate. Five of the top, five, and I put one across the back, yeah? Under my bed, there. Okay. Put it in. There's no shit here. No. Bloody hell, this lead's hot now. As you can tell, it's a hot day. What's going on here? There you go. Have a look at that. See how it and push it into that one. Got plenty of lap there. See that? Squeezing together. There's nothing coming through there, mate. Lead meat. That's the thing with lead, you can push it down. Push them into each other. That's it. Righty, righty. Sweating cobblers. So most of the bricks are in. Bloody hell, it's hot. So I've put this extra piece here now. Because the turnip was like here somewhere. Here was it? No, here. This is where the turnip was before. So what I've done is there was a brick there. So I cut into the brick, knocked the half, cut it into half basically, yeah. So I'm gonna lay that now. What I have to do though, oh yeah, the wheat pull then goes there. And that goes there. And then water can come out the side then, not down, you know. So I'll just put that in there for now. And what I have to do is put the brick in the water. Look how quick this dries. Bloody bonkers.
nearly there. So I put all the lead in. Just gonna use this lead meat. And uh, everybody here, what's your new year's resolution? Uh, well, I think I said that before, what it was. Anyway, one that definitely applies to me is never, ever, ever let me anywhere near your house with a mastic. <laughs> uh, I'll show you why now. <sighs> Come on. Oh, it's not bad, that. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I need two hands. I need two hands. So, mastic is done. I need to dress that down. So, anything coming out now on that lead? Straight over here. Oh my god. What? What do you mean what? There's nothing to see here, alright? Nothing to see. There'll be roofers out here now watching this if they do, yeah. Wanting to know where I live so they can kill me in my sleep. Oh my god, this bloody mortar. Oh, just dislodged all that. Can you come and repoint this over here, please, mate? Right, that is me done and bloody dusted for the today. Good morning, viewers. Today is a bloody good day because finally the concrete has gone in. So let's have a look at it first time round. So, like, like I said, they've had to because the ground conditions are bad. They've had to put a 900 wide concrete footing, which is ideal for us because it just gives us more room to work with. So they put the drains in. Okay, so looks straightforward, doesn't it? So it's one course of block on flat, two course of trench block, and then like one course block on flat headers. One course, two course trench block, and then one course of block upright to make the cavity. So he does, he doesn't want to be putting cavity fill in. So we're putting trench blocks in. So, morning, Craig. Morning, morning. Ah, right. Okay. So I see what he's done. Yeah. Okay. So uh, get the drill, Joe. Take these screws out for me, please. Please, matey. Yeah, okay. We'll do some setting out, yeah? It's better to set out with some blocks here, isn't it? You can wrap the line yeah. around the blocks. Uh, is there any wood here? You can use these wood, I guess, yeah? Morning. Uh, we've got some scaffold boards. We could probably use... What else have we got? They were telling me that on the phone yesterday, yeah, that um, the the level from inside the kitchen yeah. and the lounge, yeah, because it's all going to be part of it, yeah? yeah. There's three inch difference in level between right. the kitchen. And, right. So what do we go to? Who knows? Who knows? Because we need that first to work out what we're doing, yeah? Yeah, no, yeah, it's what like really Yeah. We'll set out for now then, yeah? It's quite straightforward, it's quite square, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I What I did to set out the footing was go off this uh, render. It looks quite smooth, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I'll do that one, that line, and then there's a brick and a brick there, so it's quite straightforward. Is that, is that materials? I think 
Yes. Where are we having them? All right, what? All right, mate. That's good timing. Do you want them in the back or front? Front, good enough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Ho, ho, ho. Happy days. Not really. No. <laughs> so uh, stacked out, set out, levels are sorted. They were having me on for having been three inches out. It's about five mil. The subfloor is out five mil. So we've gone to halfway. So we've gone two and a half mil. Yeah, there's no drains in it. Um, I've checked the lines, they're all good. Craig and Joe are gonna plod on here. Right, I'm off to the next job. So, no filming today because the GoPro is in Sean's pocket. However, we are in the cricket club with the lads. Enjoying a pint. Short video this week. Uh, rate this pub. Rate this pub, yeah, highly. Highly. Yeah, really Excellent nice. pint. Yeah, yeah, nice really nice. Summersby. So, uh, hopefully, better footage next week. Ah. <laughs> Hello. So, I thought I'd finished work on Friday. It's now Sunday. Saturday. Me and Joe. Did some render on here. Don't look at that one. The bloody nightmare. And this one. It's too thin. But this bottom bit was spot on. Anyway. I'll show you what we're doing. So I've broken out the um, bedding for the tiles. Because I've obviously smashed the tile out. And... Um, I got. I did do concrete underneath. I knew I was going to do this, so I thought about breaking the concrete from there just so I could drain. But what I've done, I've done a core hole, and I've gone in probably about all the way of that nozzle is at least three hundred mil. So I'm onto this bad boy here now. So um, I've got a piece of metal, sheet metal, that I had. Uh, I took off the fire door and I, I took it off the fire door so external so I've, I've put a load of holes in it all over now it's time to kind of um, I don't know make it screw it together I guess so I'm gonna screw it together now so uh I put this plasterboard half on the top of the wall. Then um, that that line there is each brick. I don't know if you can see it. And this is the metal which is all over the shop. So um, I've basically found the middle, added about twenty mil either side, then a radius. Same for here. Um, but it's all the same all the way around, so I've just cut it now with my grinder, put some plasterboard. I was going to need to put a rasp on it, but it's pretty bloody good. That's pretty good, to be honest with you. So that's my pattern now. I'll just put that on a few tiles and cut them. Right. Living on a bloody knife edge here. I've got one, two, three, four, five tiles. Good tiles to my name. <laughs> and I've got oh, two tiles, which are... Anyway, um, I'd like to have done this, because this is obviously half of it, yeah? In three sections, like, you know, Mercedes Benz or something like that. Basically into thirds equal but as it as i'm looking at it i've just put some here now dry and uh put another one on there and another one on there and this little bit here will be not enough so i have to do it in quarters which is so annoying because i wanted to do it in three
four tiles for that, even four. Uh, okay. Okay, what if I do... I'll cut this. I'll put a level on there now, find the middle, put a square on it, cut that in the middle. So that's a quarter, yeah? And if I do all four of them the same, hopefully, hopefully there shouldn't be much error when I'm fitting them. But we'll suck it and see. Oh. Okay. 